So today on Psychedelics Throughout History, we're doing a little timely episode in the lead up to Christmas. We're talking about the connections between Christmas, Santa Claus, reindeer and magic mushrooms. Um, a lot of you might already know this, but uh, the red and white colour connection isn't only attributed to Coca-Cola's advertising campaign. It can actually be drawn back to uh, very early shamanism that experimented with the Amanita muscaria mushrooms. The anthropologist and instructor at Sierra College, John Rush, purports that Santa is a modern counterpart of a shaman who consumed mind-altering plants and fungi to commune with the spirit world. And as the story goes, up until a few hundred years ago, these practicing shamans or priests connected to the older traditions would collect the Amanita, dry them and then give them as gifts on the winter solstice. The Amanita or fly agaric is found throughout the northern hemisphere under conifers and birch trees, very much akin to the presents we find under our evergreen trees at Christmas time. And this could explain the tradition of the Christmas tree and the gifts, wrapped in red and white, placed under the tree just like the magic mushrooms. Amanita itself is classified as poisonous, and this might be a reason the shamans of that time initially hang the fresh Amanita muscaria to dry on tree branches, just like the colourful ornaments on a Christmas tree. Another interesting connection is that flying reindeer have a similar connection to the Amanita muscaria mushrooms, and reindeer in general are common across Europe and Siberia, and just like the human inhabitants of those areas, they too consume these mushrooms. Harvard University biologist Donald Feister suggests that Siberians who ingested the mushrooms may have hallucinated that the grazing reindeer were actually flying, as well as the reindeers themselves having hallucinatory states of flying and dreaming. Research has shown that reindeer do in fact have a fondness for the Amanita. Deputy editor of the pharmaceutical journal Andrew Haynes wrote in 2010 that animals deliberately seek out the red and white spotted mushroom in their habitats as they have a desire to experience altered states of consciousness. Haynes also wrote, For humans, a common side effect of mushrooms is the feeling of flying, so it's interesting the legend about Santa's reindeers as they can fly. According to The Sun, Haynes even claimed that reindeer seek out the mushrooms to escape the monotony of dreary long winters. At first glance, one thinks it's ridiculous, but it's not, said Carl Rook, a professor of classics at Boston University. Whoever heard of reindeer flying, I think it's becoming general knowledge that Santa is taking a trip with his reindeer. To add to things, Rudolph's red nose might have been a representation of the Amanita muscaria, while the idea of helper elves assisting Santa in making children happy might go back to the spirits encountered by the shaman during a mushroom trip, machine elves being a very common entity that people experience in psychedelic trips. One historian, Ronald Hutton, told NPR that the theory of a mushroom Santa connection is flawed. If you look at the evidence of Siberian shamanism, which I've done, Hutton said, you find that shamans didn't travel by sleigh, didn't usually deal with reindeer spirits, and very rarely took the mushrooms to get trances, and didn't have red and white clothes. Rush and Rook would disagree with Hutton's stance on the matter, and according to the two researchers, the shamans did actually deal with reindeer spirits, and the ingestion of mushrooms is well documented. Siberian shamans did wear red deer pelts, but the colouring of Santa's garb is mainly meant to mirror the colouring of Amanita mushrooms, Rush added. As for the sleighs themselves, the point is not the mode of travel, but that the trip involved the transportation to a different celestial realm. Sometimes people would also drink the urine of the shaman or the reindeer, as the hallucinogenic compounds are excreted this way, without some of the harmful chemicals present in the mushrooms, which are broken down by the shaman or the reindeer, according to Rush. People who know about shamanism accept this story, Rook said. Is there any other reason that Santa lives in the North Pole? It is a tradition that can be traced back to Siberia. All theories of the origin of Christmas traditions could have some elements of truth, and with that said, this excerpt from James Arthur's Mushrooms of Mankind, The Impact of Mushrooms on Human Consciousness and Religion, probably best summarises the Santa Magic Mushroom Theory. So why do people bring pine trees into their houses at the winter solstice, placing brightly coloured red and white packages under their bows, as gifts to show their love for each other, and as representations of the love of God and the gift of his son's life. It is because, underneath the pine bow, is the exact location where one would find this most sacred substance, the Amanita muscaria in the wild. When you start connecting the dots, the idea that Santa was a mushroom shaman who flew around on tripping reindeer starts to make some sense. At least some of these elements could have bled together with the other Christmas origin stories, such as Saint Nicholas being one of the progenitors of Santa. In conclusion, how strong is the evidence for this psychedelic Christmas tale? It's intriguing, but far from definitive. Part of the problem is that shamanism in Siberia was stamped out by the Soviet Union, which banned the religion and assassinated many who practiced it. The Sami also experienced colonisation from Finland, 
which has helped make reindeer herding all but obsolete. There isn't really anyone to ask about how much truth there is to these rumours, but perhaps writing it all off as coincidence is dismissive as well. Either way, it's a good reminder that, despite Christ in the title, most Christmas traditions have very little to do with Jesus Christ and Christianity. These traditions are an amalgamation of many different cultures, religions and ways of understanding life, and it would explain the broad appeal of Christmas across the world. So to properly get yourself in the Christmas spirit this year, perhaps get one of your relatives to consume a boatload of Amanitas, and instead of getting absolutely wasted off sherry or your shit beverage of choice, wait for them to piss out the Amanita and consume it with your whole family and see where the trip takes you. And if you do do this, please send in a trip report because that really needs to get read on the channel for everyone's entertainment. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this little overview of the potential connections between mushrooms and Christmas, and whatever you want to believe, it's it's just interesting to think about. A lot of it is speculation, it's not very solid. Um, what do you actually think about it? Do you think there are any um, legitimate connections, or do you think it is just uh, pure speculation and uh, assumptions? I, I like to think there are some little connections between it. Uh, I don't think fully Santa Claus was uh, a Siberian shaman, but the connection between the trees and the reindeer flying definitely seems a lot more solid than oh, Santa Claus literally was some Siberian shaman and that's how it's been passed down. But yeah, then again, Christmas is an amalgamation of lots of traditions. Uh, they've all fallen into a boiling pot and uh, merged together. It obviously isn't just purely based on Jesus Christ. I mean, even the date of Christmas has nothing to do with uh, the date of Jesus Christ if you look into that as well. It's completely different. So yeah, it is just uh, it is just something that's been passed down through the generations and edited and uh, reinterpreted. So uh, it, it really is just down to the individual, really. So yeah, what do you think? Let me know. And uh, interested to hear your opinions. And I'll do some more stuff like this in the future. I'm enjoying doing these cyclics throughout history videos, and hopefully you are as well. Because if not, then you're gonna have a rough time in the future. Right, see you later and have a good Christmas, even though I'll be making more videos up until then. <laughs>